my mind set thing. Yeah, it's okay. a thing. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go for it. I'm going to elaborate on that slightly. Oh, okay. Sorry. Did I not? Did no. I not call it appropriately? It is a mind. It's something I'm working on around mindset. It's something I. It's a realization, an epiphany that I had recently. I, I can't say that word. <laughs> about something, a limiting belief. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, cool. So it was a limiting belief. So I was just thinking about the growth of my business. Yes. And what that would mean for life and what that looks like for family and all of that sort of thing. Yeah, I like that. I cool. think I might have said this to you before, but I realized I have this idea that the more successful I become, the more busy I'm going to become. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's yeah. actually not a truth. And it's something I need to break and separate. Yeah. yeah. But it's stuck. And so it's something that I've been working on. And I guess it's part of like kind of having my big goal oh, and then yeah, having yeah. my mini goals but I just I think it's been sitting there preventing me yeah from moving forward okay because it's like this ingrained thing I don't even know where it comes from I can, I can see that like for as an outsider in your business as well yeah. as somebody that's in partnership with you I can see how that does come into things for yeah. you like I know because we ever talk about setting our goals for it doesn't have to be this hard in the podcast um and like you probably freak out more than I do about like yeah. it getting bigger means we have to be busier I freak but it, it doesn't out. right I, I am scared of more work yeah because I don't like I know I don't have the capacity for it yes but I need to separate that belief that becoming more successful means more work yes because it doesn't yeah so what are you doing to separate it What's on the I'm list? trying things. Okay. So I'm, I think like giving away more things yeah. is going to help greatly. And that's probably like the one focus that I'm trialing at the minute. Yeah. So perhaps not doing as much Admin. of my things myself. Yeah. Admin and editing. Yeah. So you're you're giving these to Alyssa, your VA, right? Yeah. And you've also, and I've just got an in-house yeah, editor, a new person. and I want to be a lot less at my desk, yeah, and more of like the manager boss lady of my business, yes, yeah. and the shooting person in your and business, and the shooting person and the marketing yeah. person. But I guess if we look at our businesses in the sense, like, and we talk about this in our profitability crash course as well as some of our other courses. Um, it, we're looking at our business and what parts do we actually need to be present in and that's the customer interaction yeah. so we need to be there to shoot our clients and to interact yeah. with them um, and our our brands are our personalities so we already have stepped back in that sense right like yeah. there's a lot there's a lot that we don't have to do that we could send to somebody else and that gives us back more time which makes us more yeah. successful without but do you know what my busy? fear has been around oh. that out outsourcing okay I'm going to have to work more to pay for the outsourcing. <gasps> no, oh. Ruth. <laughs> Therefore, and which is feeding back into yeah. that belief. Yeah. Isn't that Therefore, funny? Therefore, you need to be more busy. But you don't need to be more busy. I know. Yeah. I get, okay, so, all right. <laughs> to outsource, you need to have a certain level of profitability. Yes. Yeah, so that you can outsource, so that you can pay that other person. That's there right. is the fact that that outsourcing gives you back time. So either you can take a hit financially yep. and suddenly you don't get as much money for yep. yourself because it goes to the people that are doing the work for you, like yep. a business does, or you can make your business more profitable by sh you've now got yourself more time, free time for yourself. They're doing everything because you've got the systems and structures in place. You could shoot more and bring in more income or yep. you could raise the prices to balance out the fact Absolutely. that you have this person that all these people yes. in your team that need to be yeah. paid as well. Yeah. And I suppose I'm just teetering on this. Yeah. Like thinking about it. Okay. And I'm start like it's starting to happen, right? Yeah. So I need to, I, but I don't know which one of those things it's going to be, whether I'm just going to take a financial hit yeah. for more work life balance, whether I'm putting my prices up, that's happening as well. And something I'm working on mm. getting a better average sale and, yeah. and things like that in my portrait work. So I think it's going to be both. Yeah. But it's that unknown. I it's, don't know the answer yet. <laughs> I don't and like not have knowing control. the answer. <laughs> I, I, and I'm I like know. doing all the math, right? Like I'm looking at my project, pro, like projected, yeah. how much I'm going to earn. 
how much it's going to cost me to give the girls more hours. Yeah. Therefore, what do I need to shoot to cover that or do I just not? Yeah. I guess another consideration <laughs> there to think about is if you have really good systems in place and you have really good rules and guidelines and structures, the girls that are working for you aren't going to have to, like you're, they're going to get a lot more done. Absolutely. And perhaps they can also be faster than you. I think they can because I'm thinking about all the things and they're only thinking about some of the things. Yeah. All, only the things? <laughs> all of the things. Yeah, yeah. They can take care of some of the things. Yeah. Right. Like, so they can do that better, right? Because they're yeah. only, and I can probably be better too. Yeah. Because you're not feeling so overwhelmed and yeah. so busy and so stressed and therefore we can give a better service to our clients, which also means if our clients have a better service and experience, they're willing to spend more. Absolutely. And like revolving. Yeah. It revolves. Yeah, it does. But it's like... It's funny, isn't it? You think that your business is sorted. Yeah. And then you take the next step into the unknown. <laughs> and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, oh my God, I'm this... here again. Yeah. I'm in, in the next unknown It's like space. working on the business and figuring everything yeah. out again. There's so much to it. And because you start off, I guess, as photographers um, and maybe artists and creatives in general, especially when you're a sole trader, self-employed, nobody else works for you, you work out your pricing based on how many hours you do and you kind of like figure out how you do everything but then suddenly you have to then train somebody else and they're training yeah. somebody else you sit there and you're like oh my god I haven't I, I how do I even teach somebody to do what I do because they don't know what I do they yeah. don't know the systems and you have to sit there and you like it, it creates work but it absolutely it definitely is beneficial after it creates yeah. work and you can become a lot faster because you actually have to be like oh, okay, there's all these shortcuts that we could have done yeah. that I never did because yeah. I never bothered to totally. learn because I never yeah. had to teach anybody. And it's funny, isn't it? Because it's like in any other business, this is what they're doing day in, day out. They're yeah. training people, they're yeah. getting employees, they're subcontractors. Like, it's normal. And we don't know that because we've always worked by ourselves, yeah. for ourselves. That's right. right. Yeah. And it's like suddenly it's this big thing in my head. It's not actually a big thing. Yeah. But because it's my business and it's so close, you know, yeah. it's so close and it's been me for so long. Yeah. It's, I, I, it's like, I get what you mean. Yeah. Having worked in sales and retail and um, customer service and things like that roles prior to doing this full time, I'm so familiar with the idea of systems. Yeah. Because I go into them and you'd like, you'd, you'd go into the lunchroom and on the wall is literally step by step on how you yeah. sell to somebody. So like yeah. that's always been there in the back of my mind. So I don't, yeah. like, I don't feel that I have that same kind of lack of knowledge that some people would. But then doing this for so long and now teaching other people how to do different parts of it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, what is this? Like, it's still, you still have that same problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the mind block, like the roadblock, mind block, mindset problem, mindset block. What do we call this? All of them um, around like, I guess I want to be less busy. I would yeah. like, I need, I need to, I need to put like some boundaries on myself. Yes, <laughs> and you do not book as much, and not yeah. work as hard, and like and manage my time better so that you know when I go to have a massage, I don't sit there thinking about work the whole time, yeah. like that kind of yes. thing. I ah oh, yeah, I don't want to be busier. I want it to work for me more. Yeah, which would be yeah. the same thing, right? Like you, like the end goal of that would be that. Your yeah, business. I feel like my work-life balance is relatively good, but I do yes. not want to fear growing in my business. Yeah, because your fear is that it, you'll become busier. I, my your fear is that I'm going to lose my work-life balance. Yeah. My yeah. fear is, and I don't want, and mainly that's around having a family, I think. Yeah. Like, I feel panicked about the thought of being so busy that I wasn't the parent I want to be to my children. Yeah. Like, all of that sort of fear has come into yeah. my business. And I think there's a lot of other deep fears that where that comes from around, like, the mum guilt of working and all of yeah. that sort of thing yeah. that we've talked about before and talk about a little bit on our course. But I think that actually feeds into it quite a bit. Yeah. And I'm realising it now as I'm yeah. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I think such therapeutic conversations. Perhaps <laughs> that fear is the deeper one, actually. Yeah, the one the underneath. The fear of being successful yeah. is the fear of not of my business take, detracting from 
my parenting and my yeah. motherhood and who yeah. I am as a mum and all of that. Maybe, maybe that is where it's coming from. It's like, um, what's the analogy? Analo analogy? Analogy. Oh, I don't even know how to talk today. <laughs> um, that we use in the course. It's like, um, there's a big problem. Uh, yeah. There's a small problem. It's a big problem under a small problem. Small problem under a big problem. No, by the way around, um, where you've got like this this small fear or this small thing, yeah. like I don't want to do this or I don't want to I don't want to do that. But really, underneath that is actually like this massive fear that you need to address that you yes. have not, and it's feeding into all these other little small problems that are messing That's with your right. mindset, which then messes with your business growth, totally. or your life growth, or your relationship, yeah. or whatever it might be. Because I will protect my family with everything. Yeah. And so I guess having that belief that my family's going to be affected by yeah. my work life is a big one. Yeah. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not willing to do anything that would compromise that. Yeah. But I need to understand, like, <laughs> like it's not a truth. Yeah. It's not a truth. You don't have to work more the more successful you become. In fact, many people work a lot less the more because, successful yeah. they become. And I know yeah. that. Yeah. It's just something I need to sit with. Do you feel like there's this time, like when you're doing this, where you kind of, like, because we've hustled, you yeah. think you're going to have to hustle again to get yes. to that point where you can then take a step back and be yeah. less in in the business yeah. and you've got your team that does the things behind the scenes so you have more time back for yourself. Like, is it realistic that we think we don't have to have that hustle time or do we have to have that hustle time? Do we need another well, hustle time? I guess time? we've gone through that hustle yeah. time of we having to sort of take on everything and do everything and really, like, work. Not that we're not working now, but <laughs> when, I do feel like there's a time where you don't need to do that. Yeah. It could be slow build. Like, yeah. It have to be a, nothing has to be a hustle. Nah. I mean, it was a slow build for me because it was transitioning between yeah. my other job to this job, and that was amazing actually but yeah maybe I don't know I don't know I love it should we leave that on that that thought provoking okay. thought so what we want you guys to do <laughs> is we want you guys to jump into the Facebook group and tell us about your guys mindset blocks at the moment or like what you might be struggling with whether you've resonated with Ruth's ideas around being a parent mm. and whether her ability to be a parent is I guess affected yeah. by how busy you are in work because I yeah. would say you're not alone and I would say there's no. a lot of people that are sitting at home that are also not alone yes. I mean I just have a dog so I can't relate but <laughs> I feel like this is a very common fear and I think so yeah I think we can create a good group discussion. yeah so we want you guys to jump in and tell us what's going on for you yeah yeah cool cool awesome so if you haven't already joined the group it's called it doesn't have to be this hard on Facebook and you guys can just search it up and you want to join the it doesn't have to be this hard boss photo boss something that's what it's called There'll be a link in the show notes because apparently <laughs> we don't know what our own branding is. But it's changed. It's changed. Maybe, maybe a few times. Times. <laughs> Why do we need to take a break? Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs>